welcome to our spring 2021 virtual diversity graduation. I am Dr. Aaliyah Beavers and I serve as the director of the Student Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Office. While the SDEI office team would prefer to be holding this celebration in person, we are committed along with the entire University of Houston Clear Lake to maintain physical distancing as we continue to navigate the ongoing pandemic. Diversity graduation is an effort to pause and reflect on the academic achievements and contributions of those UHCL graduates who share underrepresented identities. This ceremony does not replace or take away from the official graduation, and you should all definitely participate in the UHCL's official virtual graduation. Instead, we are gathered here in a more intimate setting to celebrate graduates who have navigated challenges with resilience and accomplished more than the acquisition of a degree. We gather here to honor language, culture, each unique family and support system, and to share joy in the adventure that awaits each one of you as you soar to alumni status. Thank you for the time you have spent here learning in classroom settings and for sharing your lived experience on campus. With that, and on behalf of the entire Division of Student Affairs and the SDEI office, I want to extend the warmest welcome to each and every one of you because you are all part of the reason our graduates have made it here today. Thank you. Hello Hawks and welcome to our diversity graduation. My name is Dr. Aaron Hart, pronouns he, him, and his, and I'm so proud to serve as your Vice President for Student Affairs. Over the past year, each of you have served as true examples of courage, fortitude, and demonstrated resilience like none other. I'm certain that the months that have led up to your graduation were not as you expected when you started your journey here at UHCL. However, you have remained strong, You've partnered with your instructors to chart a court of success and completion, and you've served as an inspiration for the, your peers and the entire Hawk community. With all that's taken place since the pandemic related to social justice in our country, now more than ever, we must advocate for the inclusion of all people and stand for nothing less than true diversification of thought, action, and representation in everything that we do. So I just wanna say thank you for your commitment to our campus, the UHCO community, and all affiliated with the University of Houston Clear Lake. And thank you for taking great pride in who you are and what we can accomplish when we work together. And as always, go Hawks. Buenos dias, graduados. Me gustaría felicitarlos por este gran logro en su vida. Estoy bien orgullosa de ustedes. También quiero tomar el tiempo para agradecer a sus familias, amistades que los apoyaron, y su comunidad. Nuestros logros siempre se cumplen con el apoyo de seres queridos, que nos brindan la fortaleza para lograr nuestras metas exitosamente. Recuerden, un grado universitario no solamente viene con privilegio, sino aún con, con la responsabilidad de servir a nuestra comunidad con compasión. Mi consejo para ustedes es nunca olvidar de dónde vienen, ni su cultura. Siempre sean auténticos, humildes y dirían sus vidas con compasión. Tengan el valor de siempre ser honestos con sí mismos y no temen expresarse ante la sociedad. Felicidades, clase de 2021. Hello, graduates. I want to take this time to congratulate you on this accomplishment in your life. I am so proud of you. I also want to take this time to congratulate your families, your chosen families, and communities. We never do this on our own. Our families and communities lift us up and give us the strength to persist and go towards our dreams. As people of color, with this immense privilege you now hold as recipients of a higher education, you now have a great responsibility, and that is to lift each other up. To create communities of care, compassion, and support for one another. My advice to you is to always be true to your roots. Always be that authentic version of yourself that is true to your culture and background no matter what others think you should be. 
Be that authentic version of yourself, always. Have the courage to fulfill the highest and most truthful expression of yourself as a human being. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hello, I am Asia Rodriguez, and I am the coordinator of diversity programs in the Student Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Office. And I have the honor of announcing the graduates for this virtual ceremony. Maria Teresa Molanda Agarado is a multicultural graduate from Deer Park, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies with a concentration in EC through 6, generalist and EC through 12, SPED, and wrote this message of thanks. My heartfelt thanks to my family, friends, professors, and staff of UHCL for supporting me in one way or another. I would not have this achievement without your untiring love and support. Congratulations, Maria. Norma Balderas is a first-generation graduate that was born in Mexico and raised in Houston, Texas, receiving her bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies, EC through six, early childhood. And she sends a big thanks to my family and friends who were my biggest support system and never allowed me to give up. I love you. Congratulations, Norma. Kimberly Mireya Barajas is a first-generation graduate from Baytown, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in psychology and minoring in Latin American studies. Congratulations, Kimberly. Timothy Daniel Brenson Jr. is a multicultural graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a master's degree in business administration and says, I would like to thank my wife, parents, and siblings for their ongoing support of me. Congratulations, Timothy. A2 Tai Kantu is a multicultural graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in business management and states, I am deeply thankful and blessed to have family and faculty help me achieve my lifelong goal. The dedication and understanding and time all mean so much to me. Thank you is the least I can say to show my appreciation for everything. Congratulations, A2. Anna Lee Catalan is a first-generation graduate from Pasadena, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in communication. And she states, During this long-awaited journey, I've had a great support system that has helped me conquer this accomplishment. For this, I would like to thank my family and husband for their continuous love, encouragement, and patience. I'm thankful and blessed to have them by my side every step of the way. Congratulations, Anna Lee. Tanya Tina Javadzade is a first-generation graduate from Friendswood, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in communication and says, Mama, thank you for everything you've had to sacrifice for me to be here, for never giving up on me and pushing me to do better, for believing in me and always making sure I had everything I wanted in my life. Daddy, thank you for this life you have built for us and always believing I could do anything I dreamed of and providing me with a life full of everything I've ever needed. Thank you for your love, support, and for every night I talked your ears off. Hamid, thank you for being my rock and for the unconditional love and support. Thank you for always being there for me. I'm so grateful for everything you teach me in life. Nima, oh Nima, I'm graduating before you by a few days. That means I'm the first person in the family to graduate university. However, that just means I'm graduating because I have a really amazing brother who helped push me to work harder and do everything he's always believed I could. I just wanted to make you proud and I hope I did. I love you all to the moon forever. Dr. Kluyeva, the best decision I've ever made was to take your classes. Thank you for seeing my potential, helping me achieve my goals, and motivating me to use my voice to do what I love. You've been my biggest supporter at UHCL and I'm so grateful to have been able to take every single class you have. I'm going to take the skills you taught me and do great things with them. You're the best. Dr. Baldwin, you're an amazing force. I have enjoyed learning from so much, no matter how tired or bad of a day I was having. Listening to your lectures always inspired me to want to be a stronger writer. Your assignments are killer, but they gave me the skills to be a, the writer that I am today. Without your charm, spark, and wisdom, I don't think I would have been able to get my messages across the way I have this past year. I am forever grateful for you. You are the true queen bee. Dr. Chan, thank you so much for bringing such compassion, kindness, and support to your classroom. I was having the most hectic semester and you brightened my day every class. Thank you so much for teaching me the importance of communicating in a positive way to help make a difference. You inspire me to do the blessing bags. And from there, I have been able to do so much more. And that is all thanks to you. 
Thank you for being you. Congratulations, Tanya. Arleni Espinosa is a first-generation graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in education and says, I would like to thank my parents, family, and friends for always believing in me and supporting me, for not letting me give up whenever I wanted to and being there for me through every step of my career. Thank you all so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Congratulations, Arleni. Felicia Feiler is a first-generation graduate from Texas City, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in criminology and says, I would like to thank the Most High God for being the head of my life. Also, I would like to thank UHCL staff members for helping me achieve my goal. Moreover, I would like to send out a special thanks to Miss Peggy Wardlaw and her entire family for supporting me in achieving this goal. I would like to thank my family and special friends, Pierre Walter and Darlene Murphy, for believing in me through my hardest time. Thank you, all of you. Congratulations, Felicia. Jacqueline Flores is a multicultural graduate from South Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies and writes, thank you to my parents, my family, and my mentors for their support and for pushing me to reach my goal of attaining a higher education. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Jack Garcia is a Lavender graduate from San Pedro Sula, Honduras and South Houston, Texas, receiving a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Studio Art with a concentration in printmaking and minoring in Latinx and Latin American Studies and Art History and wrote this message of thanks. Thank you so much to my family, friends, and mentors. Your guidance and advice has helped me to get where I am today. My journey to getting a BFA has been a long one with the last few years giving me very hard obstacles to face. I am so happy to end this chapter and start a new one at Ohio University pursuing my MFA in printmaking. Thank you everyone that has believed in me and believed in my art. I appreciate each of you so, so much. Please keep watching over me. Many great things are still to come. Congratulations, Jack. Hannah Henderson is a first-generation graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a master's degree in educational management and states. Thanks to everyone who supported me to get to where I am today. A special thank you to my husband, Ryan, for always building me up and believing that I can do anything. To Avery and Skylar for being patient with me and to my mom for always supporting everything I do. I love you all. Congratulations, Hannah. Ashley Victoria Henderson is a first-generation graduate from the Highlands in Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in psychology. Congratulations, Ashley. Erica Lisette Hernandez is a Lavender graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in history and museum studies and says, without the love and support of my family and the friends I made in the history club and model Arab league, as well as the guidance of my professors, I would not have been able to achieve all that I have. Congratulations, Erica. Laura Ashley Hopkins is a first-generation graduate from Richmond, Texas, receiving a master's degree in human resource management. Congratulations, Laura. Emma Nicole Howard is a Lavender graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree and says, I would like to thank my mom and dad for helping me throughout the stressful times, my professors for the encouragement and knowledge I will always cherish, and also my classmates who are always there to lift my spirits. Congratulations, Emma. Cassandra Ibarra is a first-generation graduate from Pasadena, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in psychology, who wrote, I would like to thank my parents for setting a good example and instilling in me the wish for higher education. As a first-generation graduate, this one is for you. Thanks to my siblings who supported me when I felt like I was not going to reach this goal. Ash is the real hero for always inviting me out to help me deal with the stress. Thank you, Abisai, for being the loudest voice among those cheering me on. I love you, and I couldn't have done this without y'all. Si se pudo y a seguir sonando. Congratulations, Cassandra. Lisa Mariama Jada is a first-generation graduate from Biloxi, Mississippi, receiving a bachelor's degree in biological sciences with a minor in biotechnology and states, this degree is not only for me, but my family who helped me reach this milestone. I thank and honor my ancestors who passed down their strength and determination. I am only getting started. Congratulations, Lisa. Maria Khan is a multicultural graduate from India receiving a master's degree in finance who wrote, thank you to my loving husband without whose support I wouldn't have been able to do it. Congratulations, Maria. 
Miriam Marroquin Lopez is a first-generation graduate from Monterrey, Nuevo Leon, Mexico, receiving a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies, who says, I want to thank my husband for his unconditional love and support, and to my family for always believing in me. I love you so much. Congratulations, Miriam. Monica A. Mata Torres is a first-generation graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in psychology and anthropology, and says, It is with great admiration and gratitude to my family, my friends, my UHCL classmates, and wonderful professors in psychology and anthropology that I was able to achieve my goals. Thank you to my advisor, Ms. Patel, for finding me the right path to pursue. I stand here today as a first-generation Mexican-American woman with a double major from the University University of Houston Clear Lake humbled and tired. I came in scared, I was enriched with wisdom, and I conquered my goals set so many years ago. To my husband, thank you for allowing me to soar. I love you. To my kids, mommy did this all for you with strength and determination. With lots of love always, class of 2021 UHCL grad. Congratulations, Monica. Taylor McKenzie is a Lavender graduate from Webster, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in environmental management and minoring in biology. And she states, wish you were here. Congratulations, Taylor. Nermeen Nizarali Momin is a multicultural graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in fitness and human performance and states, I want to thank all of my professors for sharing the one of the greatest gifts and helping me grow in preparation for the next part of my life. Congratulations, Nermeen. Ajaratu Aida Sandra Ncho is a first-generation graduate student from Abidjan Ivory Coast, receiving a Master's of Business Administration with a concentration in finance, and says, Thanks to my parents who gave me the opportunity to achieve this goal. Thanks to the GLS, especially Mrs. Stephanie Holleran and Mrs. Livia Kidd. Thanks to my supervisors, Dr. McClendon and Mrs. Beck. And thanks to my academic advisor, Mrs. Franklin. I feel blessed to be a U.S. UHCL alumni. Go Hawks. Congratulations, Ajaratu. Serena Ordaz is a multicultural graduate from Harlingen, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in behavioral science and says, I would like to thank my family for always encouraging me to be the best I can be. Congratulations, Serena. Lisette Joanna Oropesa Aguilar is a multicultural graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in general business and wrote, I would like to thank my parents from the bottom of my heart for their sacrifice in bringing me to the United States and giving me the chance to take advantage of all the opportunities presented to me. A big thank you to my friends and family for always believing in me. I would also like to thank the University of Houston Clear Lake faculty and staff for their endless support and encouragement. Congratulations, Lisette. Charity Joy Banciera is a first-generation graduate from Dickinson, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies and minoring in special education, and says, Thank you to all of the family and friends who supported me throughout my college journey. Through all the ups and downs, I am blown away by the incredible amount of support I received. A special thank you to my mom and dad for pushing me and loving me through it all. Congratulations, Charity. Daniela Marie Ramirez is a multicultural graduate from Baytown, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies, EC through six with a special education concentration and says, I am beyond blessed to have such amazing support systems. To my family, I know I would not have been able to do this without you. To my friends, thank you for being there to encourage me when I was overwhelmed. Mom, dad, Daniel, this one is for you. Congratulations, Daniela. Courtney Robinson is a first-generation graduate from Baytown, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in business management. Congratulations, Courtney. Helen Rodriguez is a first-generation graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in psychology and writes, Thank you to my loving parents, family, and friends who have been my number one supporters and role models. I love you all. Congratulations, Helen. Yasmin Sadek is a multicultural graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in literature with a minor in humanities and says, to my friends and family for believing me and to the SDEI office for supporting me. Congratulations, Yasmin. Rahul Saikumar is a first-generation graduate from Bangalore, Karmataka, India, receiving a bachelor's degree in computer engineering and says, thanks to my family and friends who supported me in achieving success and completing my master's degree. Congratulations, Rahul. 
Crystal L. Salinas is a multicultural graduate from Edinburgh, Texas, receiving a master's degree in molecular biotechnology and writes, thank you for your support to my family and my friends that joined me in this journey. I am forever grateful. Congratulations, Crystal. Shweta Sangpal is a multicultural graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a master's degree in management information systems and says a big thank you with lots of love and hearts to the University of Houston Clear Lake Hawks fam, who gave me this wonderful opportunity to have this amazing experience in my career to achieve the desired goals. I also want to thank my whole family, my dad, my mom, brother, Sid, and also the rest of the family members and all my dearest friends who guided me and stayed with me throughout this journey. A big shout out and warm hug to all. Congratulations. Congratulations, Shweta. Sarah Elizabeth Santini is a first-generation graduate from Alvin, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in psychology. Congratulations, Sarah. So he son is a multicultural graduate from Seoul, South Korea, receiving a master's degree in MS, early childhood education with a focus on young children with disabilities, and writes, Happy graduation to my sweet husband, Edwin, because you made it possible. Congratulations, Sohi. Luis Alberto Torres is a first-generation graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a master's degree in engineering management and says, I want to give a huge thank you, gracias, to God, my family, and close friends for helping me see through this experience to the other side. Congratulations, Luis. Demetrius Latoya Travis is a first-generation graduate from Jackson, Mississippi, receiving a bachelor's degree in social work and wrote, This has been a pleasure to be part of the University of Houston Clear Lake family. I want to say thank you in helping me grow both personally and professionally. Attending this college helped me to accept myself and what God has created for me. There are not enough words of gratitude to express how thankful I am for all the love and support I have received from the faculty, staff, co-workers, and colleagues. It is hard for me to leave, but I know I must move on in order for me to continue excelling in my future. UHCL, faculty, staff, and co-workers will never be forgotten. Again, thank you for accepting me into this college and helping make my dreams turn into reality. Special thanks to Dr. Cannonberg and Dr. Leal for guiding me through this entire process since the day I turned to them for guidance when I did not know where to start due to me being a first-generation student. Congratulations, Demetrius. Brittany Vu is a Lavender graduate from Houston, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in biological sciences. Congratulations, Brittany. Kiesia Williams is a first-generation graduate from Baytown, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in general business and says, thank you for being there during every major change and every career idea that never saw the light of day. Congratulations, Kiesia. Hannah Swan Woolley is a first-generation graduate from San Leon, Texas, receiving a bachelor's degree in humanities and human sciences with a minor in anthropology and museum studies. Congratulations, Hannah. And a big congratulations to all the graduates. We know it's hard work, and we know it's specifically hard work in time of a pandemic. We just want to say you've done it, and you are an alumni now. Congratulations. Go Hawks. Go Hawks.